Here's the Elliott Wave forecast for December 2nd, 2009. On the S&P one month chart, looks like got five waves up and then formed a flat, ABC flat, when the wave two. Which is a very bullish scenario if it takes out the top of the wave one, which it did. Well, it got really close to it. The top of the wave one is a 1114 and it got to 1112. The highest target I have, this is, these are the highest targets I have for the S&P down in NASDAQ. But anyway, the highest target I have for the S&P, if, we, if it's 1.618 times wave 1 and a wave 3, it takes out 1114 is as high as 1220 and a full upper 3. 1220, that's the highest target I have for the, for the S&P. For the NASDAQ, looks like it completed 5 waves up and then formed a perfect zigzag, A, B, C. Down near the 0.618 for notch tracement, tracement level. The highest target to have if it takes out 2205 is as high as 2400. If it's 1.618 times wave 1 and wave 3, 2400. That's insane. I know. These are, the, these are the most bullish scenarios I have. Anyway, the Dow completed a wave 1 and then it formed a perfect flat, ABC flat, and it took out the top of the wave 1. The highest target I have, if it's 1.618 times wave 1 and a wave 3, is as high as 11,500. Those are the most bullish scenarios I have for the S&P down NASDAQ. That's a wrap.